guys, Stasels here and today we're playing some more Dark and Light. Don't forget if you like the videos to hit the like button and subscribe for more. So we're back, we have upgraded the house um, and we've upgraded to wood now so we've managed to get to wood. What I really like um, is that you can actually put these cool like roof windows in um, which is really cool and I quite like the windows as well that are just downstairs with the little like slats in. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking the style. The reason why the floor looks different is because we have some ceilings and some foundations, which is just because of where we've had to build um, the base. Oh, it's gone dark. Let's just uh, light ourselves back up. But um, it's really cool. I like the building. So we've just unlocked the wood tier. We're on the wood tier at the moment. But if you look, how cool does that? I just think that looks so cool. Obviously, the night sky looks pretty epic as well, to be honest. It's pretty. It's a pretty game. I like it. So, um, also, um, I have tamed a snowy fox. Now, it gives you a buff as well, which is really cool. Um, and it can sit on your shoulder. Da -da -da. This is really cute. I really like him. I called him Snowball. Um, but yeah, that's our little snowy fox friend. Um, and obviously we've still got Piggy um, that's outside as well. So today what I wanted to build is the work table because we've actually managed to get to a point where we've unlocked this now, the workbench. Um, so things will start to unlock for us now, hopefully. Um, there's so many things to do. And we need to build a crossbow. And I think you can only do that from the workbench. So we're going to try and put this workbench somewhere. I'm not quite sure where I want it. I was going to... Well, I was thinking about putting it over here, to be honest with you. It looks like it needs quite a bit of space. Okay, now I might be stuck on it, we're good. Okay, it's kind of like the smithy on Ark, it needs space away from stuff, but that's fine. It can just sit there. So, what can we build in here? Uh, oh, you can build all the wooden stuff in here. That's cool. Uh, what is this? A stone feeding trough. Okay, that seems quite cool. Okay, let's have a look then. So, consumables. Matured herbivore feed. We can make a dining table now. Ah, okay, that's cool. And the crossbow. So the crossbow is what we need to make. We need 10 wood, 50 twine. I think we have enough of that. And 10 iron ingots. Okay, we should be able to do that. Okay, let me just have a look. I think I already have the iron ingots ready. Oh, I have five. But I think I can craft more, so that's fine. I can Iron ingot. Let's just craft another five of those. Pop that in there. So, um, yeah, the quest that we're trying to do, um, where are we at? This one. So... With proper equipment, skills, and tenacity, it's possible to tame some of them to serve as your companions and harness their unique qualities for your own purposes. So yeah, so we're doing the whole taming um, one at the moment. There's several quests going on, and now that we've unlocked the workbench, we should be able to do quite a few different things. I'm going to start with the crossbow. Then we can get rid of our, our wooden bow. So we're doing okay for resources. Well, I feel like we're doing okay for resources, but I'm sure there will come a point where I'm not. So let's pop this in here. Make our new fancy. I'm going to dump that in there. Cool, so we've got our new uh, crossbow. Wow. Oh, how cool does that look? That's so cool. Oh, 
awesome okay so we've got our new crossbow um we now apparently need to make a wooden feeding trough which obviously we made one before for the pigling but we're just kind of completing the quests here so we need wood and twine don't know if i have enough left over that i put in here but i definitely will of the twine that is something we are not running low on So I just need a tiny bit more wood. Let's pop out and grab that. So what I do want to do um, now, obviously, that we've built the house a little bit more sturdy. Oh no, it keeps going dark. I don't think I have enough. Uh... I also healed myself by accident then. Okay, it's very dark. I don't have enough shards. Uh... And also seem to have lost the staff head that gathers them. Did this break? So I had this weird thing where things keep disappearing from my inventory and yeah, this is gone. That concerns me slightly. I think I should be okay because um, there are some, I mean, I don't know if I can get magic shards from this, but I'm going to try. Okay, no. Okay. Be right back a second while I go and figure out how I've managed to lose that staff head um, and try and get another one back. So I'll be right back in two seconds and uh, we'll pick it up from there. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I had actually put it in my um, one of my workbenches. I don't know why, <laughs> but anyway, I found it. So <laughs> it's all good. Okay, so we've just uh, unlocked some other stuff. We have to tame a sheep apparently now there might not be many of those around but we're gonna have a look what is this we've got herbivore feed wooden feeding trough okay do we need to keep a sheep still to tame it or like what is this so small soul suppression so used to wounded small element creature and keep its soul in the stone put the soul Suppress stone into a pool of revival, and then resurge and tame. Oh, you can revive them. Okay, this is super cool. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to pick up some hook arrows, which I think are in a box. Oh, look at Piggy, he's asleep. And then I'm going to go see if I can find a sheep, because uh, that'll be pretty cool. I did make hook arrows. Uh, where I put them, I don't know. Oh, here we go. I mean, as you'll know by now, I keep seeming to put stuff down and then losing them. So, you know. Right, let's go. There's usually some up here. So we'll just go and have a look. Um, it has been spawning like some snowy foxes, but yeah, we'll see. Also, it's daylight. So at least that solved the lighting issue. Good day. Good day. I need a drink and then I need some sheep. So, I mean, you can, I do have water bottles. Um, I probably should fill them and carry them around with me, but it's really not that necessary when I live so close to, to here. There's a snowy fox there. Now, I have seen the sheep around here. Ah ha ha. Okay, so let's just go up to one to start with. Um, okay, yeah, no, it looks like you have to, so we made a feeding trough. And we're going to put the feeding trough down. And I'm going to put the herbivore feed in there. And some apples. I don't really know what it likes to eat. And then I guess...
Oh no! Okay, can I pick this back up? No. Okay, I'm just gonna demolish it. Where did my sheep go? Not be that hard to tame a sheep, honestly. It just won't stay still. Okay, it's down. Okay, it's taming. Now I don't know, how long do these last for? I don't know if they can get free or not. I When I was um, doing the pig one, I didn't really pay attention. Oh, I can see it's fatigue dropping. Okay, that's fine. We'll just sit here for a minute, it should be good. Cheap eat. Okay, this should be really easy. I love how, like, in the feeding trough as well, like, it actually shows, like, veggies and stuff. Cool is that? Also, got a bit of jiggy music because we're right near the uh, little town place. I don't know why we need a sheep, but it told me to tame one, so how? Let's have a sheep. I think all the stuff looks really cool on this game. We've tamed a sheep. By the looks of it. I don't know what you'd do about it if its fatigue got down and it woke up, because I don't know how to keep them down. I just shoot them with more hook arrows? I don't know. Yay, we have a sheep. I don't know what to call it. Okay, so if I open this crate, I can take all of this stuff out, right? And we'll just get rid of this, because we don't need that there anymore. And, uh... Uh, where is open crate? Order to follow me, and... Open crate. Okay, here we go. So, let's feed it some... Apples and I hope it eats apples. Anyway, come with me, little sheep. We've got to get you home. I don't know where to keep you safe. So here's the next problem. Um, I don't really have anywhere for these guys to live, and oh, and my bit. house is getting a little bit full with random tames, but it's fine. Come on, little sheepy. So uh, feel free to drop uh, names in the comments of what you want to call Mr. Sheep over here. And uh, yeah, well, I'll have a look through the comments and see what to name it. Now let's get this guy back. I don't know if they can fit through doors. It looks like it can fit through a door. I mean, let's try. Oh, it fits. Come and join your snowy frogs, friend, Mr. Sheep. <laughs> okay, we now live with a sheep in the house. It's very random. But at least it's safe. 
I did name this. Why is it name not showing up? Okay, I don't know why Snowball's name wasn't showing up. Really weird. Anyway. So, here we go. We've got a little sheet front here. We need to build a stone feeding trough. So, I think that's in here I saw this. Um, was it in furniture? No. Not in consumables. Maybe, oh no, it was just here. Okay, I'm with you. So we need 10 iron ingots, 20 copper ore, 60 stone, and 120 wood. Okay, we can do this. This will not take us long at all. Twenty copper ore we have really easily. Let's just throw this into here. Um, Ten iron ingots, a bit more stone and some wood. Okay, so if we set this to make ten iron ingots... I think that says 10. It's really hard to read the numbers. And then what we can do is grab some stone and some wood. Do, 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 do. I think we, we only need like another 30, so this is fine. So I'm going to hope that that's like, oh, it's just off this one. There we go. That did it. Okay. So now we need 120 wood. We actually have wood back at the base, but I don't want to use all my supplies. So I'm just going to grab her some more anyway. That should be good because we already have some. Yeah, the house looks a little bit random from this side. It's just because I've built on a hill, so. Okay, let's throw all of this in here. Oh, we have more than enough now. Uh, the stone. Now all we need is the iron ingots. Job done. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. I have so many things um piled up now. Trying to keep boxes organized and uh stockpile on a few different things. Okay, here we go. The stone trough is more durable than simple wood trough and contains more feed. Okay. Can you pick it up and put it back down though? That is the question, isn't it? Okay, so we've completed that quest. Job done. Did we get anything for that? I don't know, I can't see anything. Let's have a look. So, what have we got going on? We have a lot of quests at the minute, as you can see. Um, I have shape shifting. Uh, we need to craft a house seal, um, which I needed the workbench to do that. So that is definitely something that we can do hopefully now. Um, oh, okay, we need to make a summoning stone for the pet thing. So that's fine. Uh, taming an elemental creature okay there's some crazy things craft a fire reference cross the water reference we're not far enough through that yet kill bog lord alchemy craft philosopher's stone so i'm pretty sure i can do this one. alchemy i'm sure you've heard of it it is seen as taboo by many but truth be told it incurs no major harm if it is used in a non-complex fashion did you notice the scarlet orb? 
It is none other than the Philosopher's Stone, which is rich in Gaia's energy. Okay, so we actually have a few of these already. But we're going to craft one anyway for this quest. Um, I love the voices on the quest things. Oh, we need to craft four. I was not paying attention to that. I never really... I'm going to put all of these in here because I'm going to guess this is where they need to be. So... And what do they do? Extracted from crimson ore and used as the critical ingredient in alchemy. It turns inferior material into better material. So in our alchemy table, we've got a few um, things at the moment. The fire essence I can't actually make. Um, we're not high enough level in alchemy. But as we level up through it, obviously we'll unlock um, different stuff. I really like the look of the alchemy table as well. It's like proper worldly and earthy. I like it, it's cool. I really like the style of this uh, of this game. So let's see, uh, once we've crafted this, what he would want us to do next. Craft copper ore in magic workbench and craft iron ore in magic workbench. Oh, okay. The magical energy converts rock into copper ore and copper ore into iron ore. It absorbs energy and converts the resource perfectly, abiding by the law of conversion. Oh, that's so cool. Does normal stone like that work? No, wait, so you can convert them into... Well, that changes things. I don't have the iron ore one, though, it would seem. I don't know whether that's just because my alchemy isn't high enough yet. But anyway, we'll have to look into that. That's kind of cool that you can just like convert stone into ore in case you do run out. Like we were having an issue um, with finding the iron one the other day. So that's so cool. Okay. Oh, magic structures. What's this? Oh, the summoning pool now. Okay, this is really cool. Okay, so I'm guessing that in my knowledge panel, under alchemy, maybe? Which I don't know where that is. Um, alchemy, here we go. Okay, not under alchemy. Um... It's not under that one. Enchanting, maybe? No? Um, earth magic, air magic. Okay, we'll have to have a look through um, because I don't know <laughs> where that one will be, but it's all good. Um, we will figure it out and find it. Um, but yeah, we've unlocked quite a few different things now um, throughout here. So I need to go through and find out where we want to go next. And we can make different weapons and we have several different quests going on as well. But uh, I think I'm probably going to leave this video here. We've unlocked quite a lot of stuff already today. Ooh. This is what I need, the fence, the railing thing. Because I want to like um, create an area for the animals. But anyway... I'm going to leave this video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, we will catch you guys in the next episode. Cheers, guys. Oh,